Okay, we like to find the last digit of two raised by 2024. So how do we do this? And we hope the last digit of two, when we raise two to a certain power, is, it has a pattern. So let's try that. So if we try, um, and I'll go up, I need to go up. Okay. So if we try to do that, we see this. So when we have two raised by one, right? Two raised by one, we have two. Two raised by two, that's a four. Two raised by three, that's eight. Then two raised by four, a little bit complicated. It's a 16. So how do we think about last digit? Last digit is just, six, right? Because we have 10 plus six. So here I use this modular symbol. So modular, so this is a modular 10, which means I only care about the last digit of two raised by four. So in this sense, in modular 10, 10 is the same as zero. So any multiples of 10 is the same as zero. So that's what this symbol means. Those are three bars means. Okay, so right, if we do two raised by five, we get 32. Well, 32, the last digit is a two. So we see the power of two, when we calculate, it has a pattern. It ends up at two or four or eight or six. So 2024, right, so here two raised by five, last digit is two. 2 raised by 6, last digit is 4. 2 raised by 7, last digit is 8. 2 raised by 8, last digit is 6. So if we look at the 2 raised by 2024, we can write the exponent of 2024 as 4 times 506, right? 4 times 520, 4 times 624. So the last digit of 2 raised by 2024 is the same as 2 raised by 4. And the 2 raised by 4, we know the last digit is a 6 because it's 16, 10 plus 6. So that's it. That's a how, in general, we figure out the last digit of a number, when a number especially when a number is raised by a, a big power. Hope this makes sense.